Copy pasting is something we all do in Excel. Now you probably know the shortcut, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. So if I select a range of cells within Excel, then I press Ctrl C, that copies the cells to my clipboard. And if I then click another cell and do Ctrl V, it pastes those values once again. Now one thing you can see is that I copied multiple cells and also pasted multiple cells. In some cases, I would like to copy multiple cells and then paste them all inside of the same cell. So with Ctrl Z, I undo my previous action. Now, one thing you might try is to put the pasting in the formula bar. And so I click in my formula bar and I press Ctrl V, but that doesn't do anything. Okay, so how do we then actually solve this problem? Well, first you select the cells you wish to copy, and then we will open up the clipboard pane. You can find this under the home tab in the ribbon. On the left hand side, we have here the clipboard group. And in the bottom right hand corner of this group, we have this icon here that will allow us to open up the clipboard pane. So I click on that and on the left hand side, my clipboard pane will appear. If I now press Ctrl C, that will copy the cells and add them to my clipboard. As you can see, they appeared here. Now I can paste them from this clipboard. So I pick any cell where I want to paste these values and then I press F2 or I simply go into my formula bar, it doesn't matter. And then I click on the item to paste it. There we go. Now I press enter and there we have the result. If you now go into the cell itself, you can see we actually have multiple values here in the cell itself. And you can see they're right underneath each other. So all of the values came from different cells and we pasted them all into exactly the same cell. Now, one thing you might be wondering is, okay, how do you actually manually get this effect of writing multiple values underneath each other in the same cell? So we click in a cell, you write something, and then we use the shortcut Alt Enter. So you press Alt and Enter at the same time. And so that will jump on a new line. And here I then can type another name, just like that, Alt once again, and write another name. I press Enter to confirm. If you just type a name and then press Enter, it will simply put the value in the cell and jump to the next cell. So that's not what you want to do.